imaginary spooky and scary things out there, but you know what? There are actually some real things that are scary and spooky and creepy and crawly, and that's why Larry Ombi with the Arrow Exterminators is here this morning to tell us about some of those things, and they're not imaginary. They are really out there, and um, they can affect us, can't they, Larry? Oh, yeah, we, we face them every day, but once a year... They all come together on Halloween to scare all those little <laughs> ghosts and goblins that are running up and down the street. What, what are we talking about specifically this morning, Larry? Well, Halloween wouldn't be Halloween without the vampire bat. Oh, yeah. yeah. They fly around and they suck your blood. Although there are a lot of species of bats, there's over a thousand species. There's a hundred in the United States. Wow. Alone. Uh, they're, not, they're not native to America. North America, they're uh -huh. mostly in South Central America. So the vampire bat is down there, and the bats we have around here, actually, they're a major part of our ecosystem, aren't they? Absolutely. You know, a small bat can eat up to a thousand mosquitoes in an hour. In an hour? In an hour. Okay. So they, they do a lot of good. They help help keep the mosquito Still, population Still, I, I, I don't care. If you're out at, at dusk, when I usually have seen them, and there's a bat, and he's kind of getting... That's, that'll, that'll get you scared. It's kind of scary, but what he's doing is flying around and capturing insects. That's pretty cool. So, and and the more cool. mosquitoes they can eat, the more I'm for them. Because <laughs> I do not like mosquitoes. Or, or, I hate them. I hate every one of them. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> what, what else are we talking about this morning, uh, pest-wise? Well, another one that's real scary is the earwig uh, or flesh flies. And, uh, you know, we have flesh flies around. And they, they usually feed on feces or dead or decaying animals. They lay their eggs in them. Mm. Actually, the eggs hatch out into maggots. So, uh they're pretty scary, pretty pretty dirty little creatures. And so why do they call them earwigs? Where does that come from? <clears throat> well, the earwig, that, that's really a myth. And they, they've gotten a bad rap over the years. Okay. And and the myth is that they'll crawl in your ear at night and actually bore into your brain. Oh, good. And uh, <laughs> cause you to go crazy. But, uh, but it, it's a myth. Now, we may know some people that we might dispel that myth. Okay. <laughs> we think they may have an earwig? That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. That's so. pretty, that, that's, that's, that's really frightening. I mean, that, that's a great Halloween scare there. And I, I seem to remember a, a TV show you back where they had an earwig story. Oh, yeah. It was, it yeah. was very so. memorable and frightening. Well, they're about an inch long and have little pinchers on the end of their body, so they, they can look pretty scary. Yeah, that, that is scary. scary. Locally, do we have any really scary animals, uh, pests, that we should be looking out for, Larry? Well, spiders, you know, we've always got spiders to deal with, and there's some poisonous spiders around. One of them is the black widow spider. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they nest in and around their homes, you know, they like, uh, you know, if you have rock escapes, they like to hide under rocks. They'll get in your crawl spaces or wood piles, any kind of trash. And uh, they're, they're poisonous, their venom, venom can be And that old powerful. brown, that brown recluse is no friend either, is that, that, no, that's it's, a scary it's one there either. too. You know, that's another one of the poisonous if, if folks want to get more information, can they, if they, if they see a, a spider or a pest that they're not sure about, can they give you guys a call? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they can give us a call, and uh, we'll be glad to come out and send somebody out and identify the pest Good. and help, help control the And problem. then maybe it wouldn't be quite so scary. No, uh, hopefully not. Larry Ombi, thanks, man. Thanks for Thank educating you. this morning and scaring me just a little bit about the real creatures out there here on Halloween. Appreciate it. Good job. Well, witches were spotted flying over South Walton early this morning. Oh, that's right. We're going to check in with Kayla Gaskins now and see if she's found any. Kayla, any witch sightings yet? Well, if you heard some cackling early this morning, the witches are getting ready. I